Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel XYZ Architect. I'm Marius and today we are going to talk about part 2 of Datum Systems. So, let's go! Okay, so here we are with part 2 of the Datum Systems. In this part we will talk about the reference construction how do we construct our references and the importance of uh, prioritizing the datums in order as the drawing specifies. So let's see. So this is the example of marking the way the datum is marked on the drawing. Uh, this is the real element cylinder surface. Okay. And so we have a cylinder surface with a real element right here. And this is uh, the specific element. So we have here the specific reference, which is the axis, the associated cylinder, which is, which is the uh, defined cylinder or the CAD data, right? and the reference, sur the reference surface, uh, the real uh, surface of the cylinder. So the specific reference is the associated cylinder axis to the real surface, the associated cylinder axis to the real surface. For a shaft, if we have a shaft, as you remember, the cylinder is the minimum circumscribed cylinder for the real cylinder. So we, we've talked about this uh, on another video on how to measure diameters. Uh, go check that out if you want to see more about this. But this is the way you have to uh, do the, the datums for a cylinder when you have a, a, when you have a datum uh, as a cylinder, as the axis of the cylinder. So uh, for the shaft is the minimum circumscribed cylinder and for, the, for a hole, if you have a hole as a cylinder, then you will have to make it as a maximum inscribed cylinder for the real cylinder. This is according to ISO 5459. Okay, good. Let's see if the example is a plane, a surface right here. So the real elements, this is the planar surface. Uh, specific elements is the associated plane to the real surface. So this is the specific reference and the real surface. And the specific reference is an associated plane to the real surface. It, it is a plane with perfect geometrical form and it is tangential. So you, you will have to make, when you construct a datum like this with a plane, you will have to make it tangential okay and also if we have for example uh, like this uh, symmetric plane right here so two planar surfaces uh, like we have in this case of datum A and also in the case of datum B uh, this is the real surface the associated symmetry plane to the real surfaces so associated symmetry plane right here and real surfaces right here and also uh, uh, specific references right okay and the specific reference is the symmetry plane from the associated planes to each real planar surface it is a symmetry plane with perfect geometrical form formed from the two tangential planes so again you have to make a tangential plane right so tangent plane tangent plane and symmetry plane from those two tangent planes according to iso 5459 i repeat myself okay so why i keep saying that it's according to iso 5459 because most of the programmers work with uh, uh, LSQ planes, least square planes, Gaussian planes, right? Okay, why do we do that? Well, sometimes it's, it's asked by the mechanical designer to do it like this, sometimes it's on the drawing like this, okay? But when it is not, it's better to work according to the norm, to ISO 5459 because you will not have uh, 
you you will not have problems when you explain to someone how you measure it okay so you said you you can say to them okay i measured like this because this is the way that iso is telling me to measure these elements and it's it's perfectly fine okay okay so let's see the order of the datums the comp the comparison okay let's let's see exactly uh, what happens uh, if we have two examples like this so this is the uh the the drawing for example and let's see that uh, let let's say that here we have uh, a two position uh, zero uh, diametral two position 0 0.2 according to as we see here it's only a and let's see what happens if we keep the primary uh, datum and we change the secondary and the tertiary datum between them okay so making the a example is making the reference system according to drawing with the order a b c okay so this is uh the the first example reference a surface a okay primary datum a secondary datum b here and here is represented here and here notice that it's um it's tangent right to the surface right and the tertiary datum c notice that it it takes only the translation there is no orientation constraints for the tertiary datum c okay and this is the second example making the reference system by changing the priority of the datum so putting a reference primary reference the uh, secondary reference c and tertiary reference b okay so reference surface a is the same nothing changed this is still the primary datum the tertiary datum now is is b so as we see here it's b and the secondary datum is c so in this case orientation is taken by datum a and c therefore datum b only takes the translation making the outcome different so method one is very different from method two the distance from here to here will be very different here we have another example with only datum a and datum b although datum b takes also a rotation here so we have on the first example datum a takes two rotations and datum b takes one rotation uh, and one translation and another translation which means that one translation is left outside uh, this is the outcome and when we change to ba for example right here you will see that the outcome is different even though uh, datum a takes a rotation it doesn't matter the outcome is different because the form deviation is very high okay so uh, we will work again on the drawing from the gone model uh, and we will do the two position according to the drawing de and we will do it uh, with these two references changed to see if the outcome is different okay so let's see let's make d and e first okay so reference d is this side and reference e is this side okay let's make two planes very simple we go to construct plane fitting plane okay datum D no not one just D create and also this one dating E okay okay so let's make the measuring principle the reference construction both planes 
okay and then let's make also the cylinder from here because this is the cylinder that we have to evaluate okay let's see so let's go to construct let's go to cylinder fitting cylinder again this one create and fitting element as a measuring principle okay good very good now let's go to local coordinate systems create a datum system okay so let's put datum d first and datum e second and see what happens okay okay so create the local coordinate system and let's make another one with datum e first and datum d second create and close okay so now we have two reference system let's see what happens with the true position of the cylinder so according to the drawing the distance from this from the d datum is 145 and the distance from e datum is 35 so let's see on the first So let's see according to datum DE what happens to the true position. Oh, sorry. Select the cylinder first. You have to select the element which you want to evaluate if you want to evaluate it because otherwise it will not work. Okay, so position again according to datum DE okay so it's circular 145 and 35 let's see 35 145 and we have an actual of 1.33 and a tolerance of 0 0.5 right right okay okay so this is a or bin DE okay and let's see what happens when we do it according to ED <laughs> that sounds a little weird okay so the two system ED circular section 145 and minus 35 okay so as we see here the outcome is different it's not that different on this example but if you have planes the reference planes deviated enough you will get a larger difference here so here we have a plane and cylinder datums as we see here in this example we have a cylinder and we have planes on the surface uh, the planar surface of the cylinder so according to the reference frame we have a primary datum d and a secondary datum e so the alignment should be constructed according to this reference frame how do we do this okay so first of all we take reference d as a plane and then we take refer we take reference e as a cylinder uh, remember from our previous videos how to measure a cylinder i think on this surface it's enough to make uh two circular 
uh, two circular sections on the cylinder and measure the two circular sections. Okay, and evaluate the, the cylinder. So the cylinder is actually the axis of the cylinder. So the reference place two and three are not specified because they do not have any influence on the functionality of the part. Okay, so as we see, as we talked earlier, this is the reference axis from datum E. This is the primary reference plane D. Okay and the secondary reference plane and tertiary reference plane does not matter okay okay good and also this reference e takes two translations here and here the primary reference takes the first translation on this axis okay and uh, also takes the rotations like this and like this okay good the rotation like this does not matter okay so now let's see this example i've constructed uh, a cad model based on this example so we can work on it and i could explain to you how i would measure this on uh, cmm so in gum you will not do this but if you work with the cmm you will have to do this Okay, so the, wo the way I do it first with the CMM, when I construct a program, for example, it doesn't matter the software. Okay, so when I construct a program, usually I go like this. I make, for example, four points, right? So I make a point here, I make a point here. Okay, I make a point here. And I make a point here for example I construct a plane from these four points right okay so I don't think I have the possibility to do this on the ground yeah I don't have the possibility to do this on the ground but we can for example use a surface okay so Let's say that we make a plane like this on a surface from the four points, okay? I don't have the mesh model of the... Okay, so clearly it's off. It's not okay. The surface is not okay. So let's delete the plane because it's not okay. Okay, so let's do it again, plane, auto plane nominal because I don't have the mesh model, okay, so let's go from here to here to here to here and I think it's fine like this, yeah. It doesn't work here but usually what I do on the, on the CMM is make the plane construct an alignment, put the primary, primary datum on the plane and the origin on Z axis, for example, on the plane. This is just for telling the machine where the part is located on the measuring surface, okay? And then we go, for example, and construct a cylinder. We can construct a cylinder uh, from four points on each section so we make a section here at I don't know two millimeters from this plane from the four points plane go two millimeters deep and then go for example uh, four millimeters deeper on the second section okay and make four points on the first section and four points on the last section this is also to make another local coordinate system a help alignment system to tell the part where it is located on the x and the y axis and how it is rotated and everything from the 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 measuring table 
Now that we have this, we can work exactly as the drawing asks us to, to work on. So we practically have the first time reference the plane and the cylinder. Okay, now we do it again, but we take more points and cover more surface on the, on the plane and on the cylinder. Okay, so we take again the, the plane now we cover more surface we do way more points on the on the surface if you can do scanning do scanning but if you cannot then take uh, take points on the on the surface so according to this surface i think for example a circular path will be enough uh, a circular path right here a circular path right here or so three circular paths the first one put uh, like 12 points, second one inside here put for example 8 points and the third one you can put 4 points. And then you will have 12 with 8, 20 and 24 points on this plane. So I think it's enough, you can set this plane for example as, as, a, as a reference. This is just for this, this part, because this part is a simple part and it doesn't, and it's practically, it's a metallic part. But if you have, for example, a plastic part, then it's better to do this step again. So if, the, for example, this part will be a plas plastic part, then you will make the first, uh, the first plane with I don't know, not 24 points, but you can make it with 10 points and then take the cylinder and make it with, uh, I don't know, for example, seven points on each section and do the alignment again. And after this, make again what we said here, the plane from 24 points and the, the cylinder we, we can make the cylinder with, with 12 points on each section, okay? And we'll have 24 points also on the cylinder. So practically when you do this, you will take all the form deviation from the part, you will take all the rotations from the part, all the translation, and you will be exactly in the center of the part each time. Doesn't matter if the part is different from the other part that you measure or from the first part that you measure, it's important that you make it like this. So each time the part will be found by the machine and the part will be measured correctly by the machine. Good, so let's make date and D. Read and close. Put the measuring principle. Copy as actual element. Uh, let's check the plane, date and D. Hide. No. Okay, so it's only on the nominal plane one. Let's hide it. Let's hide the cylinder one and creation parameters. Okay, good. I wanted to put the plane as tangent, as a tangent plane, but it doesn't work because again, I don't have the mesh model of the part, but if I, if I do had it, uh, then I would put the plane as a tangent element. Okay, and let's construct again the cylinder, which is datum E. Good, out of cylinder. radius of 35 okay and again it doesn't let me to put the maximum in maximum circumscribed element maximum circumscribed cylinder this it is what I would do if I could have uh, had the mesh model of the part 
Okay, so copy as actual, good, and rename it as Daytoon, Daytoon E. Now go to construct local coordinate system, create Daytoon system, first Daytoon system is the plane E and the second is Okay, no, the plane D is the first one. Remove entity, plane. <laughs> no, plane datum D and datum E. So notice that it re one rotation remains. So the, all the translations are took uh, in this uh, reference system but uh, one rotation remains because it's not necessary the rotation from for this axis so around z axis for example okay great and close and that's it thank you for watching until the end if you like what i'm doing smash the subscribe button leave a like for me if you please and if you have colleagues that you think my content will help them please share it with them until next time have a nice one